Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are diving deep into a highly debated topic in the AI development space, Lang chain versus semantic kernel. If you are working with large language models, AI powered applications or automation, you have probably heard of these two powerful frameworks, but which one is right for you? In this video, we are going to break everything down. By the end, you will have a clear understanding of which framework suits your needs best. So make sure to watch till the end. And now let's get started. Understanding Langchain. If you have worked with AI applications before, you have probably heard of Langchain. But what exactly is it? Langchain is a framework designed to build applications powered by large language models like OpenAI's GPT-4, Cloudy, and Llama. It provides a structured way to chain together multiple AI models, memory, databases, APIs, and logic to create intelligent multi-step applications. Key features of Langchain. Chainable components. Langchain allows developers to orchestrate multiple AI calls seamlessly. Memory integration. You can store and retrieve data from previous interactions, making AI responses more context aware. Tools and APIs. Langchain integrates with various APIs, databases, and external tools. Retrieval augmented generation. It can fetch external documents and enhance AI responses with real-world information, agent-based workflows, Langchain supports autonomous agents, meaning AI models can reason, plan, and take actions dynamically. What is semantic kernel? Now let's talk about semantic kernel. Semantic kernel, or SK, is an open source AI SDK from Microsoft, designed to integrate LMs with your applications, workflows, and even traditional programming paradigms. Unlike Langchain, which is more LM focused, Semantic Kernel blends AI with C Sharp, Python, and .NET environments. Key features of Semantic Kernel: Number one, planner and skills. SK uses skills that work like modular AI functions, making workflows easier. Number two, memory. It supports contextual memory, similar to Langchain. Number three, plugins and AI functions. You can mix AI-powered functions with traditional code. Number four, event-driven architecture. SK is great for building AI-powered applications that react to triggers dynamically. Microsoft Ecosystem Integration. It works seamlessly with Azure OpenAI, Teams, Office 365, and more. Essentially, Semantic Kernel is designed for enterprise applications, automation, and AI-assisted development. Key differences. Now that we have covered the basics, let's compare Langchain and Semantic Kernel side by side. Langchain is better for AI-driven applications like chatbots, search tools, and AI-powered assistants. Semantic Kernel is better for enterprise solutions that need LMs integrated with existing apps. Langchain use cases, chatbots and virtual assistants. Companies use Langchain to build intelligent assistants with conversational memory, AI-powered search, and RAG. Langchain enhances search systems by retrieving relevant data from external databases. Automated context generation. Bloggers and marketers use Langchain for AI-driven content writing. Semantic kernel use cases. Enterprise automation. Companies use SK to integrate AI into Office 365, Teams, and CRM tools. Event-driven AI workflows. Semantic Kernel is great for AI assistants that react to business processes. AI-powered customer support. Companies use SK to integrate AI and to help desk software. If you are working on a research-driven AI chatbot, Langchain is better. If you need AI for enterprise automation, Semantic Kernel is the way to go. Now, which one should you choose? It depends mainly on your goals. So go with Langchain if you need an LM-powered app with quick development, a chatbot, or an AI search system. And go with Semantic Kernel if you want to integrate AI into enterprise applications, automation, and Microsoft-based software. Both frameworks are powerful in their own right, but the best choice depends on your use case. Now tell me down below in the comments, which one do you prefer and why? And that's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, comment, share. Thanks for watching and see you in a new video.